Hi, my name is Steve Levholtz, and I'm a physical therapist with Unity Point Health. Uh, I work here at the North Ankeny Medical Park, but I'm also responsible for ergonomic evaluations throughout the hospital and also in some off-site locations. So recently I have been seeing an increase in people with uh, pain and issues due to ergonomic things. Uh, and a large part of that I think is coming from the fact that many people are now working at home. Uh, when you're working at home, many people are working from a laptop or an old desk or things that might not necessarily be fit well to them. So I'd say in the last three to six months, I've seen much more uh, ergonomic evaluations as well as just problems related to how people are doing things at their home workstations. An ergonomic evaluation is when I come to someone's workplace and look at uh, the different things that they use on a daily basis, their posture, their positioning, and make sure that everything fits their body. Uh, the whole point of ergonomics is making sure that not only are you suited to your job, but everything in your job is suited to you as well. So typically when I start looking at someone in their office environment, I like to see how they're sitting at their chair and where they have all of their equipment. Uh, the first thing is the angle of the screen here. Um, typically when you're working with a computer screen, you want to make sure that the, the screen is nice and flat so that as you are looking at the screen, it's not tilted up or down, which is going to change how you move your head and can also affect kind of your neck comfort and several things like that uh, throughout the course of the day. And so uh, for someone about your height, you want to make sure that the top third of the screen is going to be even with your eyes. So this screen is a little bit low, so I'm going to take it up just a little bit. Um, and if you are someone who is a little bit taller um, so that you need something, there's always the option of putting a ream of paper underneath of your, your monitor to bring it up that, those extra couple of inches so that the adjustments work. Or if you're someone who's uh, shorter so that to bring everything to the right height, your feet are no longer on the ground. Same thing where you can put a footrest or something like that on the ground so that you're still maintaining your lower body posture as well. Uh, with the keyboard, it's in a nice position, uh, but in front of it, because you have this hard edge on the desk, um, I would typically put like a gel wrist rest or, or something in that area just so that um, it's going to have a nice place for your hands to rest. Uh, and probably the same thing with your mouse where um, your mouse pad, uh, you can either get a mouse pad with the wrist rest uh, built in or uh, you can also just get an individual wrist rest behind your mouse as well. There's a lot of different adjustments in the chair that people don't know about. Uh, one of the first things that I notice on you is the lumbar support here is just not quite in the right spot for you. So I would bring that up just a little bit so that when you sit back, this lumbar support can adjust up and down and you want to find right about where it hits the small of your back and supports that arch. Um, sitting all the way back in your chair, there you go, and then this chair is probably just lifted up a little bit too high, so there's your adjust over here. If you push that, you're going to come down just a little bit. There you go. Once you're in the proper position in the chair, what I notice is your arms are actually a little bit too low for your keyboard. So you're one of those people where I would have you adjust the chair back up, and then we would get you a foot rest underneath the stool um, so that your, your feet will be in a good position, but you want your arms to come straight forward and rest on your keyboard. Again, if your arms are up and your wrists are down all day, that's going to do a lot of fatigue, start bringing on some of the tingling in the hand, carpal tunnel syndromes, and things like that. If you have those daily aches and pains that are slowly getting worse instead of getting better, I do recommend that you don't ignore it. Come and see somebody like us now because we can do some things to address these issues and we can make them a lot better in a short period of time.